16 days to go until the transfer window closes, and while West Ham has signed seven players, we're still linked to a couple more. But also, the main news tonight is the players that is leaving West Ham United. Tom, let's start with the first one. The main one so far was just Pedro Obiang. He's been linked with a move back to Italy for around about eight and a half million pounds. What do you make of this one? Yeah, I mean, I'm not particularly happy with it personally, Joe, because if I want to, if if there was a player to go out um, in the middle of the park, it would be check for me, QA. Um, but no, Obiang. I do think eight and a half million is a bit low, low for his value. But I looked, I looked, I looked it up when, when I heard that. I looked it up, and, and they said his value is seven to ten millions. That's about right. But I think we should be getting a lot more money than we are. But and if I've heard, I've heard that he wants to go back himself. So you can't really stop a player going back, can you? So it, we just got to try and get as much money as possible. But I, I wouldn't want him to go. And I think Pellegrini is actually turned around and said that he's, he's, he actually wants him to stay. So, so this looks like it's on the player. This one. Well, to be fair, Tom, earlier in his press conference today, Pellegrini basically indicated that anyone is pretty much could leave. And if they do come, someone does leave, they will get someone in. But Tom, while you're there, um, what valuation would you put on him? You thought eight and a half was too low there. So what would you say is realistic? And do you think we've seen the best of Obiang at West Ham yet? No, I don't think we've seen the best of him, mate. I mean, we've seen the, he's had he's had he's had a couple of well, I know he's had definitely one injury. He's had some injury, terrible injuries when he's been with us, Gio. So we haven't seen the best of him. Um, but I do think if we're going to sell him, I mean, I, I know obviously that if we want to buy because of the TV money, if, like if Premier League clubs and buy, there's, there's a premium. So I feel it should be going back the other way as well. So I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't take anything less than 15 million personally. And what about yourself, Arthur? Pedro will be on back to Sampdoria. He's been mainly linked with his ex club, Sampdoria. What was your thoughts on the transfer rumor? Um, same as Tom, really disappointed. Um, I thought that you know, of, of all the centre mids, like Tom said, that we potentially could have got rid of, I think Obiang would have been the last one. I think Kiati would have put ahead of him, even Cullen would have probably left, you know, so I'd have I'd have been banging on the drum for Obiang to stay because, I, I mean, I said to you guys the other day that I think a manager like Pellegrini will unlock the best out of somebody like Obiang. Um, even as a, as a defensive midfielder, you know, the looking forward, his passing ability, he just looks like the perfect mould. He's a very mobile centre mid. He's not exactly slow. He's got a very good, you know, strike on him as well. So, uh, I'd be really disappointed to see him go. I think that he can offer so much more this season than we would have seen under the last two managers, you know, more defensive minded. So it would have been interesting to see him in that system. So no, I can't say as I'm disappointed, but I think, you know, myself, I would be looking between 15 and 20 million. I know it's a seller's market, but I think that for someone of his quality, I think that that price is way too low. Um, just tonight, just before we came live on the show, Czech Kiati has been linked now being linked with a move to Porto of all places for around about fourteen million pounds. Arthur, is this the type of transfer you think this is how West Ham should be recouping some of the money? Say again, um, Kiati Porto fourteen million. Yeah, you see, that's that's weird because I mean I would have even said Kiati would have been the the, the, the eight million pound player and Obiang would have been the the fifteen million pound player. So I mean, yeah, I absolutely one hundred and ten percent if if. You know, if, if if he wants to go, I'd pack his bags. I think most people would with him. We've seen the worst of him the last couple of years. I know he winds you up, you know, so much. So I think actually to get 40 million for him is actually, you know, good business by us. So, no, I'm quite happy to see Kiati go. But I just, I would I would hate, I would hate for Obiang to, for Obiang to leave. From the more established first team players at West Ham United to the youngsters, Tom, um, Reese Oxford, he's come back from Germany. He's been linked with a move constantly, but the speculation is starting to heat up a little bit. Rumoured that £10 million is our asking place for him. Germany looks like his destination. Would you be disappointed to see Oxford go, Tom? Um, or do you think this is how we have to get £10 million? Yeah, it's, it's a difficult one, Gio, you know, because... We, we could sell him for £10 million and I've heard it discussed multiple times over the last few days and it can only take like, I mean, two or three years ago when he was a lot younger, obviously, what he'd done at Arsenal. I know we're only based at one game and he was pretty bad after that game, to be honest with you. Um, but I would be more disappointed if we actually sold him for £10 million. We'd always be, it'd be like another Rio Ferdinand. Do you know what I mean? We're, um, we've sold him for that sort of cheap price and he's gone on to be sort of a potential world-class player and his value is going to skyrocket and we're not going to be the ones that get gets that money, the proper money for him, you know. And yeah, but if you, if you, yeah, again, Jeff, he wants to go. He's, I'm sure he sat down with the manager, spoke to the manager, and said to the manager, you know, I want to go to Germany. And I think, I think Pellegrini might have actually said to him, "Well, fair enough, we're trying to get as much money as we can for you." Then, would you be surprised if Pellegrini lets him go? Arthur's um, Reese Oxford is sort of known as a ball playing centre back and under 23s. You'd have thought maybe on paper he'd be the ideal player for Pellegrini to integrate into the first team squad. 
Well, you thought he would have been. Um, but then again, why has Pellegrini bought two centre backs, especially when we've got a young Declan Rice and, you know, Reed Nog Bonner is still here? Obviously, probably one of those centre backs was brought in because of Reed's injury, but he just doesn't seem favoured. So unless the manager is seeing something that we're not and his attitude's not quite there or he doesn't think he's ready, then, you know, it, there might be something behind it all. I mean, we've all wanted him to stay because we've clamoured for somebody like that to be like a Rio Ferdinand at this club for years. And I wanted it to work out for him, but he just never put the same effort in as somebody like Declan Rice did. So on the one hand, I would love to see him come through what we saw at Arsenal those years ago, but I almost think that his time has come and been um, and, and we've moved past it. And, you know, he, he, I'm sure will carve his career out somewhere else. And you know what? He might go and do well and he might become that Rio Ferdinand, we might say, but at least with someone like Rio, he was at it for a good three seasons before he went off. We've, you know, we've still not seen the best of Reese Oxford. So um, on the one hand, I'd love to see him stay and I'd love to do that. But for me, there's still four or five centre-halves that, that are above him in the pecking order. However, I mean, if he does see him as a centre-defensive mid and he's getting rid of Obiang and Czech to play him there, fair enough, let's see how he plays then. But if it's as a centre-back, then I think, no, he's he's way down the pecking order. Earlier today, it was confirmed that Marcus Brown has joined Oxford United on loan for the rest of the season. And now to two youngsters with both with agent problems. Tom, the first one we're going to quickly discuss is, is Quina. Um, he's in the last year of his contract now at West Ham United. His agent is certainly touting him to um, clubs. It looks like we're going to have to sell him and sort of take what we can get for him, which is rumoured to be around 600000 Would you be disappointed to see him go, Tom, when he arrived? He has so, sort of big potential, if you like. There's high hopes for him, but he hasn't really quite hit that height we thought. Yes, same sort of thing as Reece Oxford, Gio, you know. Um, he hasn't really lived up to potential. The, the times I've seen him, I have to I have to admit, I don't I haven't been impressed, but that's because he hasn't been given a full chance. He's only come on for sub appearances, maybe played in a couple of cut games, I think I can remember rightly. So he hasn't really been given a full chance. So for him, he's probably sat down with his agent. He, he hasn't been offered he has, he probably has, it sounds like he's not even in contract talks with West Ham to extend his contract. So Obviously, he's got to move away. If we if we don't let him go now, he's going to go for a free bit at the end of the year. So, six hundred thousand seems a bargain, doesn't it? Really, it's a drop in the ocean. You know, it's nothing. It's probably a match day food gates for the Olympic Stadium. No, it's it's not. It's it's not a lot. But it's yeah. Again, it's down to the player. You know, if he wants to, he's he's not even going to get a sniff at West Ham at the moment. So yeah, it's time to let him go. Arthur, this is a perfect way to run the academy. In the past, we haven't really seen players leave the academy for money, but now it looks like we're hoovering up the young talent with potential. And if they're not working out, they're not for whatever reason, whether it's ability, contract issues, etc. We're moving them on and we're starting to get fees in. Is this how the academy should be run? Um, it is and it isn't. I mean, it should be run as bringing young players through, giving them the the, the time and the space to grow, you know, like De like Declan Rice has done the last year. Um, I don't think we've seen enough academy products come through in the past couple of years, as much as we'd have liked, because we were supposed to have the best academy since, you know, Rio, Joe, Cole days. This is the best group of talented players for years. Um, so, I mean, on the one hand, it's good to see them turning a profit, but at the same time, you'd obviously like these players, especially some of them who are West Ham through and through, to come through and be playing in and around the first team. But unfortunately, when they've had their chance to do that, they've just not produced. So, like Tom said, I'd rather see them go for a little bit of money than instead of just letting them go for a freebie. But it is strange because obviously we've seen the likes of Keane have been linked in the last day or two to, to, to a Barcelona move. So these guys clearly have the talent. Um, so it would be a shame to be selling them for small profits and then see them turn out to be something else. But unfortunately, because of the way that they are at the minute, I think that's obviously a, a risk we're going to have to take and you know, we'd have to sell him. But you know, Brown's got all the skill in the world from what we've seen, but just hasn't been able to produce it in the first team. So you know, like a lot of others, he's going to have to go and, and carve his career out elsewhere and, and come back that way. So, yeah. And on to the other player with potential agent problems, and he's been mentioned by these two tonight already, Mr. Declan Rice. His contract issue is still ongoing. Tom, it's rumoured um, that De Declan Rice's agent is demanding 40 grand a week, and we are offering him about 20 grand a week with appearance fees, etc. Where do you stand on this? He's obviously 19 years old. He played 30 games for us last season. But he's now wanting forty grand a week. Is that too much for a nineteen-year-old, or is that what he's worth because he's playing first-team football? I think we're in a very, very sticky situation. I think I think we got burnt a bit by Oxford. Uh, I think the club got burnt a bit by Oxford a couple of years ago when he demanded twenty thousand pound a week and he got it. Um, obviously, now it's forty thousand pound a week. Where's it going to be in a couple more years? I, I can un I can sort of understand where the club are coming with this one for, from Gio to myself. Um, 
I do think that forty thousand pound a week is too much for Rice. Uh, I would potentially give him the twenty twenty five thousand pound a week basic, and then give him heavy incentives if he comes under the sub appearance fee, go a, a clean sheet, even a goal. Like you know, so there's bonus to get the money up there. But unfortunately, Rice is. I do think Rice is a special case, and uh, he, he's got the potential to play for clubs in the Premier League that have just come up, been newly promoted, and they they probably would give him forty fifty thousand pound a week that he wants. So it's a, it's it's a very very dodgy one, Joe. It's a sticky one. I don't think even I've mentioned Oxford. I don't think it's the same. I think Rice is a lot better. But you're right. You can't. The club are in a. They can't keep giving into the young players' demands and the agents' demands. But I do think that forty thousand myself personally is too much at that age. So I, I would give him twenty twenty five and and do appearance fees, uh, sub fees, and all, all that sort of thing on top. Uh, Arthur, where do you stand on this? It, it sounds like listening to different fans' perspectives. It sounds like the club's almost in a no win position here. You either break your wage structure, then every nineteen year old is going to want it, or you're going to piss off potentially one of the best nineteen year olds we've seen in the history of West Ham. Certainly when we've been alive. Um, but where do you stand on this one, Arthur? Um, Completely agree with Tom. Um, I don't think we break the wage structure for someone like that. I think if you offer him the incentives that come along with it, then fair enough, yeah. But, you know, I'm in the same mindset that, that the club was completely burnt by Oxford and what happened with him, and I don't think that they'd be willing to do that again. So you can't always give in to the agent's demands, especially when you're 19 years of age. I know you've had one good season, but it's just a shame when players almost listen to the, to their agents and their agents trying to do what's not really best for the player. You know, obviously they get paid a bit more, but it's what's best for them. So, no, I agree that the club should hold back a little bit and I don't think he should be paid above probably £25,000 uh, a week. So um, he might have been one of the best players in the world, but I don't think you break the wage budget just yet for that for, for him. But certainly give him the incentives to keep trying and then re-evaluate you know, re the, you know, how he's done after this season and, and, and offer him a new contract then or an extension or something like that. But just, no, not currently. Um, you know, it's been one good season, but just to see how he gets on for another year and, and then, you know, reevaluate at the end of the season. But I wouldn't, wouldn't break it up just yet, just for, just for that. That's our current squad. We're moving on to the incomings in a wee second. But just to give the deck and vice thing a bit of perspective, we signed Isa Diop in the summer for 20 odd million. He's apparently on about 50 grand a week as well. He's only 21 years of age. So, you guys at home, let us know in the YouTube comments below what you think. Who should we be giving deck and vice 40 grand a week? And what do you think about the outgoings, especially Pedro Obiang? He's the one, he's the rumor that's not going away. Um, Tom, we're, well, we're, first of all, we're linked to Mexican international Reyes, who left Porto in the summer, is now a free agent, of course. And we're also linked to Angel Romero, who's a current striker we're not going to discuss them because i don't expect these two to know too much about them so i'm not going to put them on the spot but what we are going to discuss very quickly is pellegrini's comments earlier today at his first press conference and in it he mentioned that he's going to see how much more money we have to spend tom is this where we're finally seeing a manager who perhaps has power over david sullivan at west ham is starting is starting to call the shots a little bit oh 100 percent and I, I haven't actually listened to the what you're saying Joe. i'm laughing when you as you're saying that then that's absolutely funny i mean I don't, I've never known a situation where managers got David Sullivan by the, um, as we say, you know, uh, short, the short and curly. Yeah, and it, it's actually really, really, really good and funny to watch. Actually, you know, this guy is coming. He's a fantastic manager, from what we can hear. Like, you know, the, the players are commenting on the training and saying it's brilliant. It's it's intense, and uh, you know, he's coming and said that the training facility is all wrong, and he wants this player at any cost, and and he's got it, you know, and he's getting it, and him to come out today and sort of even sort of suggest, I mean, David Sullivan must be at home absolutely sweating it. And, <laughs> oh my God, what is this guy? He's, he's, had, he's had, what, potential 96, 100 million pound out. I mean, now he wants more. We haven't even sold any players yet. And God, I bet David Sullivan's actually called Lambert so I don't heard that news. So that, that's, that's actually quite funny, Joe. What about yourself, Arthur? What do you make of the comments? I mean, everybody is sort of assumed the money was dried up. Do you still assume the money is dried up and Pellegrini is perhaps being a little bit too hopeful on this one? Yeah, it's... um. It's weird, isn't it? Because you 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 got to laugh because Sullivan must be sat in his mansion at home, just thinking what the bloody hell's gone on. It's been nice and quiet for the last few years, and Pellegrini's rocked up and just you know the whole thing's changed. So it is good to see a manager with that that ambition that wants to spend that money. It also makes me quite alarmed as to the fact of what did we have anyway? Does he see that some players really weren't as good as that we thought, um, and that we still need upgrading, or he just wants to bulk the squad out? So. Um, I, I think I don't think that there's too much more money to spend. I don't think that there can be any more to spend at this moment in time unless there are people going. And obviously, I, I watched the interview as well, and I know he said that it would be a one-in, one-out, and they would always look to replace. So he might be working on that basis, but what kind of top talent can you get for eight and a half million or a little bit less if that's what's going? So, um, yeah, my only also concern is just 
you know, having too many new faces around the squad and getting rid of too many players can potentially do what happened to Everton last season. So it'd be nice to see these players keep coming in, but I do think that the money must be drying up sometime, you know, sometime soon. Anyway, one thing that won't be drying up is the transfer rumours, and we will be here with you over the next 16 days, bringing you them as well as bringing opinions from two different guests each time we're on. But that's been the two of Tom's, and I've been Joe, been Hamstrat. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new around here, and we'll be back very, very soon.